Colin, how do you feel about museums at night? Well, it's the first time for me, and I think it's the first time for the museum that I know of anyway. I have to say that actually it's a resounding success this evening, without a doubt. And what's startling about it, in my perspective, from my perspective, is the fact that families are coming out, and the children are coming out on a Saturday night with their mums, dads, they're bringing their uncles as well with them, that sort of thing, which is really good from my perspective. This museum has just got a fabulous collection, and as such, people are going, goodness gracious, what is this? We've got to come back again because we've only got four hours and so it's a taster really and it's working working very well indeed and the children are just leaping they just really like it that's fantastic you said there were some head teachers who've been here yes, tonight um, as well i've seen one male head teacher and two female teachers all three of them have said on different landings to me as i've popped in to just say this is this this is that to say you know we really ought to bring the children to this i wonder if you could advertise it around the schools next year and perhaps to say, why not come out in the evening and bring your children with you, you know. That's I'm lovely. I'm sure the parents would support you in doing that, you know. That's lovely. And you mentioned as well the food deals, because there's some yeah. special restaurants who've come in on museums at night. That's absolutely right. And in fact, all three of us, Rachel Cole, uh, Tim Batty and myself, have uh, harangued the sort of cafes down the high street, opposite, or pretty much opposite all the museums, of course. In my case, I went to Weatherspoons as an example, and without even a, a, a query, the managers immediately gave us 20% off on production of that ticket, off any meal deal for uh, a family of two adults up to four children. That's a good saving. That's, that's absolutely brilliant. And any, now this is your, your first year this year for you and yes, the it key. Is, yeah. Any changes you'd make next year, just even an hour into Museums at Night 2010? Oh, I think, um, I think collectively we would probably say we would need to look a little bit closer at some of the marketing. Uh, although it's, it's working, without a doubt, but there are little snippets perhaps people are missing, uh, which we can put right. There's bound to be teething issues, um, because uh, I don't think the town generally, all six museums, have come together before to do this. No, it's quite um, unique, isn't yeah. it? What, what in particular, you, you mentioned marketing, anything in particular where well, you... Um, you yeah, people are Bits undecided about, they weren't quite sure which cafes were doing what, for example. Some of the caf cafes, their signs had fallen down in the windows, for example, and people would walk straight past them for it. So um, there's little, just little snippets like that. In the main, it's worked because the sheer numbers of people you see walking around at the moment. You oh, know. I've noticed that, just walking here yeah, from yeah. the county museum, yeah, just and, incredible. Yeah. And in a county town like this, from the farthest museum, Terracotta Warriors, to here, it's only a ten minute walk. It's just brilliant. So, I noticed well, just walking from the car park, I, I think I saw signs for all six just walking yeah, to the county museum. Yeah, yeah. It's just brilliant. Everything's yeah. so close together. Yeah. Fantastic. No, it's, it's good and it's well worth it. I, I'm glad. I mean, I've been on duty all day as well with my wife and we're going right through to nine o'clock this evening. But it's worth it because uh, I think we're going to probably get a lot of repeat people coming in again to have a good hour and a half or so to really study the collection.